In Excel program, whenever we need a formula in a cell, it starts with equality sign. So let's say we want to calculate net pay for this person. Then it should be uh, from gross pay and minus this total deduction. So our equation must be looks like this minus that. And the cell address of that too is B2 and E2. So the equation must be looks like B2 minus E2. So for this cell input, you start with equality and typed in B2 minus E2. And Excel is not case sensitive, so you don't need to type a capital B and capital E here. Just small B and E is enough. Hit enter, then it will give you the net pay for that. If you reselect the cell, in this formula bar, you can see the equation for that. And this cell itself shows the amount of that. But if you double click on this cell, you can see that equation within the cell, and actually you can change in there. But let me keep this one as it is. Or when you select, wh while you're selecting this cell, you, if you just click on this formula bar, then your cell shows that one again, and you can re modify these inputs here. Another thing we, I want to emphasize here is, if you double click on here, then when you look at this part carefully, this B2 is, is blue, and the color for that part is green. And when you look at this cell B2, it's actually surrounded by blue rectangle. And e cell E2 is surrounded by green one. So this one is not just to show us the address, but it's colorized one. So it's much easier to find which cells we are referring in here. OK, then the next one is the end sign. So let me go to the next worksheet. And here, let's say select C3, which is already selected. And we want to put formula here, of, of course. Uh, start with equality. And in our lecture note, it says hit left arrow twice to select that cell. So can you see that whenever you're moving around this, this input notation is changed. So right now, we are selecting A4. But if you move that one, one down, then it changed to A5. So exactly it denotes this referring cells. So right now, let's have this one. And hit end. So you don't need to select it. Just hit end. So one more time. After you type the equality, all we need is two left arrow keys. Or if you want, so you can just select that, right? Using mouse, doesn't matter. And when you want to put the end sign, just type in end. You don't need to do anything else, just type that. And we want a uh, left arrow key once more, because right now, this is what you are working right now. So our uh, mouse is here, actually. So another left arrow will give us this cell. Or you can sel uh, select that cell using mouse. Anyway, then now it looks like this formula is A3 and B3. So if we hit the Enter key, it will give us Bill Masters. So it's exactly the combination of these two inputs in there. Now, then you might wonder, uh, is there any way like making some kind of space between this first and last name? That's the usual way we can put, right? Okay, then, of course, we are going to cover this one later, but this is how it works. Hit equality, of course, and A4, and B4, right? But we want to put one space between these two inputs, right? Then we have to let Excel knows we want to put some empty space here and it is text not the value from some reference cells so it's really one character which is just open space then 
any text is given in Excel is surrounded by double quotation mark. So we need to put open quotation mark which tells we are going to start text and we need one space, right? So just hit space bar and hit double quotation mark again and end with cell B4. Hit enter, then we have this small space between the last name and first name of Tina Smith. So if you compare these two, the only difference here is whether we have this empty space between first and last name or not. And if you want to place something more, then yes, you can do that, like equals first name A5 and text part with maybe three spaces and, and B5, hit enter, we have larger space between these two. So that's the way we can put something. And of course, because of that, if you extend this concept a little bit more, then even you can put something uh, between these two names. So like maybe initials. So like H dot and Jin. And it might look like that way. And of course, we want to have another space in here. So for that case, you can modify in this mode formula bar or double click in here and change it directly here. So after the small, we can put another space like that. If you want to make sure, double space in there and hit enter, then you have that. So this is how we put uh, our own inputs with some reference values from the cells.